Wow, what an absolutely stunning wow. view. Wow. We are standing at the top of Ljubljana Castle on the tower and there have been a lot of steps to get up here. Let's start the show. So there are various tickets that you can get for the castle and one includes the funicular. Now we just hope that it is running today because it has been off for a while for maintenance so it's due to be running again today. So take us through the ticket selections here, Paul. So there's the castle ticket and funicular. It includes the castle features, museum of puppetry, viewing tower and virtual castle, exhibition of Slovenian history, funicular railway and return ticket. Well, so that's good because it's quite a distance up there. And for one adult, this is 16 euro, which is quite a good deal. Is the funicular running today? No, it's not working. It's not working at all? When's it working? Uh, yeah. So how do... So then we need to walk up? Where's the bus? Is, how much is the bus? Do we get it from there? Okay. So. Every half an hour. When's the next one? Half an hour. In half an hour from now. Yeah. Okay. Do we wait across or something? No, 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 on this side. Okay. Can you see this uh, uh, okay. thing? Over here. So this is the bus stop and uh, the bus will come in half yeah. an hour. Yeah. All right. So just come here and uh, I'll probably be standing here to show you which So bus in about half an hour from, yeah. from now. What time is it now? Maybe be here like five past 12. Yeah. Five? Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you. Well, it's a bit disappointing. The funicular railway is still not operational. They haven't finished the maintenance. Now, it is quite a walk up the hill. We will show you, but we are going on a bus. The bus only runs every half hour and we've just missed one. But that doesn't matter because it will give us a chance to show you what is down at the lower level. And I think the first thing is this rather interesting spinning wheel over here. Isn't that right, Paul? There are some pictures of animals down here, which is really, really weird. And the reason that I am yelling is because there's a lot of traffic and Marcus is like... <laughs> What's this spinning, spinning Joanna up here? Isn't that what they call it? No, but I think that this is like a cartoon character where families meet up, I guess. That's the back of them that's coming around. And it says, Lutko Gleda Liso Lul. I can't even say Ljubljana today. Oh, right. And what's this? Someone's drawn something on here. <laughs> and we've got like sheep. And I don't know what that is, a fox. There is a museum of puppetry at the castle. So I think this must be one of the characters from that. Oh, look, Paul, what is this? There's like more animals all over this building. There's a bear, there's a llama. But you can see from here that to get to the castle, it's way up this hill and it's actually higher than that. That's not the castle just there, it's beyond that. But there are people walking. And the guy at the ticket desk said it would take 10 minutes to walk down. So I think walking down probably isn't a problem. Uh, but walking up, uh, no, that is definitely not my cup of tea. You have found out what this building is by doing a translation. It says Ljubljana Puppet Theatre. So that does make sense where it is geared towards the younger population. Or people like us who like puppets. <laughs> oh, look at this. There is a lady having tea with her cat. The cat looks ginormous. Or is, oh look, it's moving as well. Oh my gosh, so it is. Yeah, is she, do you think that she's feeding the cat a bowl of milk? She's the got a cat's spoon. The tail's moving too. Oh gosh. Do you yeah, see that? I do. 
So <laughs> if you can't see all these things moving, what I'm going to do, I'm going to record this for about a minute and then speed it up and then we'll see what it looks like. Oh, what's this one? Oh, look. Burrows. The, yeah, burrows with rabbit's ears sticking out. What else have we got? A hedgehog. We've got a pole and a Marcus over there too. Where? Oh. There. Is a mouse? Is that a mushroom or something? <laughs> what else is hiding in amongst the undergrowth? What's all this, Paul? I thought we were in Slovenia, not Australia. There's a kangaroo here. Look. What's this? Oh, it's a water fountain. I don't see anything. And the water is supposed to come out of its mouth. Press oh, it again. Okay. Some, well, it's, it seems pretty dry. And then the water would fall into the pouch. Oh. I wonder why there's a kangaroo here, though. There must be some sort of significance. Hmm. Could this be our bus? It's got Ljubljana Castle all over it. Is this the one? What does it say on the ticket? Ah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, we're here a little bit early, so I guess it must sit and wait for a while. Yes. It left early. We are on board. It has left early. That's a good job that we were here. Unless there's another bus, but he took the tickets anyway. And he did have a collection of other tickets for the castle. Uh, no, and I think that the people that got off were French. Oh, does that make a difference? No, because it goes to show that they were tourists. I don't know. It's what? That they were visiting. Oh, oh, I see, right. Because why would locals go up here? Uh, true, why would locals they go up? They could, obviously. Yes. Oh, well, I'm glad we're taking the bus. But I think we're walking back. Yeah, I don't mind walking down. <laughs> oh, there's a big hill coming up now. Oh, I think we're just about here now. Well, that was really, really fast. Hello, uh, two adult tickets for the castle, please. That yeah, might not just work. tap. Mm -hmm. okay. It worked before. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we have our two tickets and a castle guide as well. Oh, lovely. Well, the bus is on its way back now, downhill. So we've got a guide to the castle here, Paul. It's quite extensive, I think. There's I quite think a lot of grounds, yeah. yeah. So here's the things that we should look out for. The man-powered tread, man tread wheel well. Uh -huh. What? That's, That's a bit of a tongue twister, that is. Peasant Rebellion Monument, Fitness Park, Chapel of St. God's and Mother Mary, the path of the Fleishman's parsnip. What's that? <laughs> what? I've got to say it again. The path of the Fleishman's parsnip. The castle vineyard. <laughs> Plechnik's apiary. Plechnik's sons. And the avenue. This is Castle Hill. So Aww. I'm not sure. Oh, and the castle is actually here. So these are all the bits on the extremities. And the castle is actually here. It says there's two entrances. Um, there's a few renovations, I think, going on as well. There's people over on that bridge doing some sort of work. But it does say here, entrance to the castle this way. So I think it must be this way then, Paul. Here's the castle in the miniature form. Well, we weren't really sure where the entrance was and we still didn't even find it, but we have actually discovered that we are now actually inside the castle. 
and we've just seen the castle in miniature form and that has matched up with what was on the map. So we think we're just going to head over this way and see what we can find. Maybe we need to follow the oak road, follow the oak road, <laughs> follow the oak road. Oh, it is bringing us up to this rather lovely floral decoration in the shape of a heart, which says Ljubljana Castle. And the year is, is that 1588, Paul? Yeah, uh -huh. it is, 1588. Gosh, it's almost as old as me. I love these trees as well. They're fascinating. Look at them. I've never seen trees like this. Do you think this is the Ljubljana tree? I think a lot of them are kind of like that. Like local to here? Yeah, like we've seen lots of trees that resemble this. Yes. Well, we've got a useful sign post here. So it's showing the directions go to the viewing tower, the virtual castle, Slovenian history, the chapel, the penitentiary, the gallery. The viewing tower and virtual castle is over here, Paul. Shall we Ooh. venture in and see? It says entrance with tickets only. Ah, I think I've worked it out. Maybe anybody can just access this mm. area because we haven't actually shown our ticket to anyone. No. But if you want to go to the specific areas, you must have to show your ticket for each one. That kind of makes sense, but no one explained that to us, you see. I get very confused. I'm an old person now. Let's take a look at the penitentiary. I think this is where I might end up if I lose my temper. Oh, Paul. To strip to get down in here. Oh, look at this. Okay. Let's go in. These look like doors or something, I'm not sure. What are they? You can't really move these doors or these um oh here is where the prisoners might have been shackled. I think. Ah, oh, I see. And there's like iron bars here as well. It's kind of like a, um, like a dungeon type. Yeah. You have to stoop as well. Oh, what's this? Someone's looking out at us. It's rather creepy, isn't it? Mm. What's going on here? What's this? What's all this? Do you think these are like bone fragments of prisoners or something? It looks like there's there's letters here that they've maybe written home. Mm. There's some sort of map. Right, let's see what the virtual castle has to offer. Gosh, there's quite a big door to open. So we've got a sign here saying the viewing tower is up the stairs and the virtual castle is there as well. More stairs. Let's go up and see what's up here. This must be the way to the viewing tower. Oh, gosh. oh, look, there's a ticket machine. So you must have to scan the QR code, right? So should I scan? Yeah. Oh, let you in. Right, so I've got my ticket now, and I'm going to scan my barcode. And indeed it has let me in. So there we are. So that's how it works, folks, if you're coming. You get your ticket from the box office, as they call it, and then you don't need to show it to anyone. They have machines all around.
if you're going to specific areas. So it seems that the next screening of the virtual cinema is in 28 minutes. So there's a countdown timer so that you can time your visit to the virtual castle. Oh dear. I see lots of steps, Paul. This must be the way to the tower. Um, do you think I can do this? The only thing is, I am scared of heights. Well, let's just hope we don't have to come down this way again, Paul. I don't think so. I don't know. This is a, a really big spiral staircase. It's actually quite wide. Well, I'll say that, I mean, it's a bit of worse. Uh, I, think, I think I can just about cope with this. Oh my gosh. What? What happened? Nothing. We could get off like over here and then just go up later. Oh, so you can get off at various levels and look out. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, what a fabulous view. Where's the receiver? This is a very strange phone box. Oh. Why can I not make a call? Paul, where's the phone? It's on this side. Oh. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Hello? Oh, yes, you'd like to subscribe. It's Paul and Martha's on YouTube. going up, but I'm trying to get the Look at that. You can see the river down there. I'm not sure if we walked along that far. Just trying to get bearings, really. You can see the mountains in the distance. I think they're called the Julian Alps. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I'm more out of breath than I usually am. You can see a little cruise boat on the river there. You can do cruises in Ljubljana. There's still quite a lot of steps to go up. Let's see what's over this side. People sitting down there. There must be like a cafe or a restaurant. What's that? Is that the Triple Bridge? Yes, it is. I think down here. Yes. And over here, just where my finger is pointing, that is the Union Brewery. So we've been drinking Union beer while we've been here, and that's their brewery over there. But you can tell just from the scale here that it's a very, very small city. Mm. It's completely walkable. When you look at it on a map, it actually looks as though places are further away than they are, and then you walk out and realize, oh, it's like two minutes to that place. No, it's one set of steps, isn't it? What? That one's going up, this one's going down. Is it? Yeah, because... Well, oh, there's an arrow. Well done. Oh, I didn't even notice that. So we could have gone the wrong way. So you have to keep walking around. Yeah. Gosh, you're so observant. See, look, there's the arrow going up. Rather decorative steps. I don't know if I'm going to make it down again, that's the thing. There better be a lift because if I'm stuck at the top, there will be trouble. Paul seems to have seen something nice. We're not even at the top yet, there's another set. Oh, boy. What do you see now? Oh, a bit further away. <laughs> so there's a bit more of a panoramic view up here, I think. There's some sort of information on the windows. No idea what it says. But you get the idea. And over this side, 
We have not seen this before. That looks like a television mast over there or a communications device of some sort. I think this tower gives you really nice views of the city and it kind of shows you how close everything is, which is a good thing because you could walk everywhere and you don't really have to take the bus, really. All right, Paul, there's one more set of steps to go. I think I'm going to be brave and go first this time. Let me just get some more views of everything. Yes, you do that. And I will make my way to the top. See, I'm being brave now. Look at this. Oh, wow. And I have emerged at the summit. Paul, you are standing in this circular area at the top of the tower. I'm standing right on the middle bit. But look, the entrance is so narrow that I can't actually get in. Look, even Yeah, you can. No, no, even if I go sideways, I don't want to get stuck because it would be rather embarrassing if the fire service had to come and get me out. English? All of you speak English? Yeah. Uh, Italian subtitles will be right? But I am waiting for my friends. Okay, uh, but yeah, we're gonna start in 2.30, just so you know. Okay. Else. Well, that was a fabulous immersive film because when we sat down, I said to Paul, I wonder will there be like sort of effects like rain and stuff and there were and the floor moved and everything. But it was a great history of Ljubljana Castle right from when it was first established. How many the years sixth, ago? Or seventh century. In the seventh century, right up to the present day. Oh, look, Paul. The chapel's down here. Oh dear, I nearly fell. Taking time to reflect, Paul? Hmm, yes. I think it's time for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Paul and Marcus.
Well, that was a nice little stop off for lunch at the cafeteria at the castle, but there's still more to explore. Slovenian history. Why don't you enter through the doors, Paul? This is weird. Mm -hmm. You can choose different things. <laughs> what is this thing? <laughs> Do you like my Bob? <laughs> Am I looking at the camera? Yeah, it's supposed to be up here. Hair? Nobility prison cell. More steps. So this was the prison cell for members of the nobility, I think. That's what it says. This way. Let's take a look. So if this was a cell, they would have had a lot more space than the ones we saw at the very start. But it is pretty enclosed and dark. Yeah, I wonder if there was like another level or something here because there's quite a drop down into a well or something here. The Museum of Puppetry. This is what I've been looking forward to. Not me. Second floor. This is lockers. Oh, I saw somebody else with a... The drum before. Through the doors. You think it's through here? No, it's pointing that way. This is really confusing around here, isn't it, Paul? I think this is where you just at. Oh, you have to take the elevator. Right. I don't like puppets. Oh no. Avert your eyes. Thank you. 
Nothing for the queen. Hmm. Here and then there's someone in the clock tower or something. Okay. I think this one tells a story. Because it seems to be. What happens? There's a bell up here and then there's like some stuff happening down here. Ring the bell, Paul. Down here. That is the funicular. Oh, right. That, of course, is not operating, and we have to get back down there somehow. And look, there's a sign down there that says, Wow. Shall we zoom in on that? Oh, wow. I can't wow. wait to see it up close. Yeah. There's water in this thing. Ljubljana is a wow city with green views and natural drinking water. Experience the capital of Slovenia, the European green capital of 2016. It says climbing on the installation is at your own risk. Well, I don't think I'll be climbing over this somehow, but there is condensation. So it must be to demonstrate the clean water of the city. Gosh, you can really hear it must be underneath. It's going to make me go to the loo. Maybe getting a drink from this sculpture will be this plant. It is called Vrtnika, also known as Ljubljana. So this is the Ljubljana plant. It's got a few thorns on it. If you are looking for the tourist information center, look out for the tick and also for the green dragon. Wow, Ljubljana, you've given us a really good episode today. Well, we hope that you enjoyed the show. Yes, we certainly do. And for those of you that have liked today's episode, give us a thumbs up. For those of you that haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. It's free of charge and it will help us on our way to reaching a thousand subscribers. And if you would like to buy us a coffee to help us on our way, there is a link in the description. So thanks for that. And we'll see you next time. See you then. Bye. Bye. come down like at least a good five minutes and it's been quite steep it's just been this dirt road so far but we are coming on to stairs soon so not much far not much further to go
the rescue dog just went by you. <laughs> Help. <laughs> you just missed the rescue dog. Oh no. <laughs> At least we're on to the staircase now. So that's where we came down from and I think it's still going to take at least another five minutes to get down. The final few steps and you timed it. They said it would take 10 minutes to get down. What does it say on your timer, Paul? Nine minutes, 20 seconds, but we did stop a little bit. Oh, great. <laughs>